let's get crafty! Hi guys, welcome back! My name is Rebecca and today I want to show you how I made these inserts. I'm currently transitioning from a bullet journal into a traveler's notebook and I thought I would do a little mini series all about my traveler's notebook journey. This one will be all about craftiness because we're gonna make inserts and these came out so good. You can definitely buy inserts. Like if you don't know much about a traveler's notebook then you can buy them on Etsy on their official website. I mainly want a bullet journal in my traveler's notebook so really I just needed a plain notebook. And this is where it starts. I just wanted an insert that was more like what I want and I also didn't want to mess up any notebook potentially. Don't want to stress about the cost or maybe have to wait until I order it or just deciding and plus I'm just I'm just somebody who is crafty so I wanted to make them my own and I can say they're really really easy to make. First thing is paper. You can use any kind of paper. Different kinds of inserts here. I have one with sketchbook paper and I have the dotted paper, which was something is really important for me because for bullet journaling, obviously you can bullet journal on any kind of paper, but I love dotted paper. Looking online for dotted paper, I couldn't find it. It was super expensive and it didn't ship. And it was this whole mess when I realized I might as well just print my own. Find a website where you can like customize the grid. If you want to use the same um, website, I'm gonna leave it down below. But basically you can use the color, the dot size, and I just printed out a bunch of paper sizes samples. This is a little bit narrow than the red in the Leuchtturm just because the inserts will be a little bit narrow so I won't have as much space. Seriously if you've never tried dotted paper, try it. You will love it. Like, mm -hmm. I, I just am upset with this. So yeah, now I have the perfect paper. Mm, almost perfect. Almost. Because one thing, I use printer paper just because it's cheaper. It's only a TGSM but I think if you buy like notebooks or even this one, it's even thinner. So, you know, the inserts will be a little bit thicker. And also the color, I personally, again, I'm a bit obsessed with this. A bit, just just a tiny bit. I'm, I like the yellow stain color. And obviously this is just white, but I need to get over it. At least I have dotted paper. Next, you will need a cover. You can use something thicker like cardboard. I personally couldn't find anything. I really wanted to make these inserts, so I couldn't wait. I will probably look for the internet for some cardboard that I could use in the future. But for now, I just found this by this brown paper and I stuck it on some thicker paper. You could just use regular cardboard. Obviously, you could use colored cardboard, but I just love the sleek brown look of it. The next thing is you have to decide how thick your booklet will be. I did look up the dimensions on a regular insert and it said it was 16 pages. I felt like it was just a little bit too thick if I use 16, so I tried different sizes or like different thickness and I have between, I think, 12 and 15 pages and you only see a slight difference but I just wanted to see how they work. Same goes with the sketchbook. I have one with 120 GSM and the other one with 180 just to see how it works in the future. As for the other dimensions I read that it's typically 21 centimeters long. The width is 11 centimeters so I went with that although one mysteriously got smaller. I, I don't know I can't measure apparently but like yeah it's smaller but like that's the regular size but obviously since I'm making my own I could make them bigger or smaller. So this is just some basic info you can think about before you even start. Let's stop rambling, let's get to this juicy stuff of stapling. So the only thing you will need is a stapler. This is a regular stapler that use it this way. So there are long arm staplers. I personally don't have one and I probably won't need one because this works and I found this technique in some video and I will link the video down below if I find it because it's so simple oh my god like if you remember two months ago in October I did my own sketchbook and like I wouldn't say it was too complicated but I have to like make holes and I had to like put it through it was it was a bit of a hassle but this is seriously so easy so Highly recommend. Basically you take a cloth or something, put it underneath your paper and then just staple and you're done. Yes, you might, you know, not get it perfect right away. I definitely got better after making four or five inserts. I like knew how to put in, like be precise, even just take it out again, just do it again. So 
how many again can I say? I don't know. After you're stable, you're pretty much done, like almost done. The only thing you have to do is fold it together and then you will see how there are some edges out. You have to cut that away. If you want clean edges like this one, then be patient. Like my others definitely didn't work as well like this one. Which one? It's kind of rough so you know I was just fooling people for like an hour and watching a Netflix so like it's super easy and like cheap. This is a serious cheap alternative to if you want to buy something. There's pros and cons. I haven't really used these so I can't say how many cons there are but like I will let you know in the future. But for now if you're starting and you do not want to waste waste but you know what I mean then this is definitely something you can try out. So I still have to plan 2018. I'm late. I'm always late so yes yeah, still haven't finished this but that will be the next episode I will do a plan with me and just talk about what is my setup very very excited and I would love to know if you have a traditional notebook do you use your own inserts do you buy them where do you buy them what do you think is good what I want to know all of the intel like yes I'm so excited for this I've been watching so many so many travelers notebook videos also want to decorate these because now it's just plain which I wanted but maybe add something don't know what I haven't also labeled them at all because I just don't know what I want to label them but <clears throat> like I said next episode is really starting to look like a traveler's notebook uh, let me know if you have any tricks or tips or anything at all I would love to know and that's pretty much it thank you so so much for watching and I will see you soon so goodbye mm -hmm.